Okay, now that you built your skeleton, you're ready for the next step. That's servo setting, putting your servos in place, which is the muscles of the project. Don't be afraid, it's not as complicated as it seems. You already put the first servo in place when you were building the skeleton in the legs. The other three steps of putting the servos in is like this. The second step is setting the servo in place for the neck movement. cheese we're only going to use the head turn which you just put the motor in the base and you put connect the head to the top motor to make the head turn back and forth because on chunky cheese he's a big head character and his ears and his head is too heavy for the other head and tilt mechanism that I show here 
it can see that it was too big for chunky cheese in this picture so I had to take it off and I had to just go for the head turn this I use on Billy Bob or a smaller sized head character this works perfect now this third step in setting the motors in place would be your mount movement you set your mount movement motor in like this Then, of course, the fourth and final step of setting your servos in place will be your arm movement. You put your two arm servos in place like this. Of course, fifth and not and, and and final is you put your pivot tube back onto your body. Uh, you measure a wire. You connect the wire to your servo that's on your legs. You connect the wire, measure it to your body base. Pop a hole through for your movement. This makes your body movement. 
the servo setting is like this. Make sure you pivot your motor back and forth and you align it just right to get the movement. It's always good to set your motors in the center position. Your servo should be in the center position so you know how far up it goes and how far down it goes. That's how you size your movement. Very carefully and gently turn your motors. Not too hard or else you'll break your servo. Just adjust it very slowly so you can find how far your motor is going to move and how far your motor is going to turn. Make sure you keep your motors in its neutral center spot so you know where the center is of your movement. Okay, it should look kind of like this in this diagram that I'm showing you on the neck where I show the front part of the um, neck servo uh, with where it says F on front and the back is over there and then I have the motor in its center position so I know how far from each side the head's going to turn. takes a little practice, a little figuring out. It may take a couple of hours to get one to work just right. But don't be afraid. It will work. <laughs> Have fun. And then we'll get ready in the next step, making the cosmetics. <laughs> 